Lots of planning and hard work has already gone into this project. We've gotten the opportunity to see the prototype and the development. Let's take a look and see what else we can capture. Hi everyone, it's Anthony Negron here with Kyle Dries, um, exhibit technician here at the New York Hall of Science, and we're here to talk about our catapult. Kyle, how's everything going? Great, thanks. Great. Um, I want to really quickly talk about, um, we've seen the excited launch of the catapult yesterday, which was amazing, by the way. Um, before we lead up to that point, let's kind of go back to the beginning. Why don't you describe for our audience how was, when someone introduced you the idea of designing the catapult, what were some of the first things that came to your mind? Um, that sounded like a fun project that mm -hmm. uh, kids could uh, really see the, uh, some physics in, in, in the real world at play, you know, uh, the functioning. And, uh, just the, uh, I like the shape of the trebuchet. It's kind of an elegant old machine. Right. Uh, I thought it would be a, a pretty big task for the shop. Not big, but a, a sizable uh, task. And that, uh, and that uh, you know, I personally would have a lot of fun uh, constructing right. it and, and launching it and getting to know about trebuchets. Uh, let's talk about the fun stuff, the whole uh, building process of our catapult. Why don't you kind of just walk, walk me through it from maybe its initial stage to... Um, what do we see now outside? Well, we just uh, started out buying a, a kit that we assembled, a small kit, and fired it at, and got some ideas from that. And we did a, a larger PVC model that you saw and got some more ideas from that and modified that. We basically then um, scaled the uh, final trebuchet to throw a 8-pound projectile mm -hmm. 200, 300 feet. Kind of guessing at some of the dimensions of the uh, bearings and shafts, and uh, to some extent, build oh, kind of overbuilding it a little bit for safety. Mm -hmm. um, then uh, I we uh, worked out um, issues of how to transport it, so I came across uh, some uh, trailer parts, putting trailer wheels on there, and steering comes from a like a little steering uh, dolly mm -hmm. for trailers. So the catapult itself. Uh, it's, it's very similar to the traditional design. I mean, we didn't go for anything fancy or more mod updated modern design, which actually uh, might throw it further than the field that we have. So for our for our field and for our size, we're, we're, we have about as efficient a machine as we can get based on what the simulator's telling us. Right. Ready, count, three, two, one. Yeah. Three, three, two, two one. one. Thank you again for your time and stay tuned. You never know what we'll be throwing next. Take care, everybody.